This video is actually a little different from the other videos that I have already published on my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be learning about the public transportation system of France and I would say Paris because I stay in Paris. So, I will be telling you how do we purchase the tickets, what is the cost of tickets and I will be travelling to uh, various buses and trams and of course we will be learning a lot of new French words. I will recommend that you watch the video till the end. So let's get into the video. In front of you, you can see a screen on which it's written Tourne le rouleau, which means you have to turn the roller which you can see in front of you to select the option. In my case, I'm selecting the language French, Français. Now, there are two options, Recharger un passe navigo. You can use this option to recharge your passe navigo, but in my case, I have to purchase the tickets. So the option is Acheter des tickets. Acheter des tickets, which means buy the tickets. I'm going to select this option. Now, ticket plus. Ticket plus, it can be used in metro, tram, bus, RER, RER, they are the, the regional trains of Paris. This ticket can be used inside all of them. So, this is the best one to purchase. Now, again, there are two options. Plein tarif, which means the full tariff. The next one is tarif réduit. That means the reduced price for the children who are less than 10 years old. I'm going to select plein tarif. Now again there are options. If you want to purchase one ticket, it will cost you 1 euros 90 cents. If you want to purchase two tickets, it will cost you the double 3 euros 80 cents. Likewise, I am going to purchase a carnet. Carnet which is a booklet. I'm going to purchase this booklet of 10 tickets which will cost me 14 euros 90 cents. So I'm going to save 4 euros 90 cents over here. So now I'm going to pay Valide. I'm going to purchase this uh, ticket Valide. Now it's written Insérez lentement votre billet. Billet which means your note. I am going to Insert this note. Voila. Now, here because I've already paid 10 euros, so it says I have to pay 4 euros 90 cents more. So it states, Vous pouvez payer vos achats en carte bancaire ou en pièces. Yes, which means your coins. I'm inserting 4 euros 90 cents more. In fact, I have inserted 5 euros. Voulez-vous un reçu? Which means, do I want a receipt? Yes. Oui. Now, my tickets are being printed. I'll have to wait. It's written on the right hand side, merci, à bientôt. Which means, thank you, see you soon. Now, I'm collecting my tickets. It's a pack of 10 tickets. And, 10 cents is my balance. T plus which I've just purchased now this is valid on bus bus now T reflects tram this is valid on metro also then Ariad which are the regional trains of Paris so here it's written Carney because I purchased a, a pack of 10 tickets which has costed me 1 euros 49 cents now I'll tell you how do you recharge your pass Navigo you can use the same machine to recharge your pass Navigo on the screen it's written Recharger un passe navigo. That means recharger passe navigo. Now, déposer votre passe navigo. That means you'll have to place your passe navigo at the arrow indicated. The option is Asha. Asha, which means purchase. Now, there are three options, three packages. Forfait moi, which means your monthly package for the whole month of February, supposedly. Forfait semaine, that means your weekly package. And then forfait jour, that means your daily recharge. Supposingly, in, in my case, I want to recharge it for the whole month. Forfait moi. Now, Ile de France is divided into five regions. So, zone 1 à 5 for all the five regions. Now, I have to pay 75 euros 20 cents. That means 75 euros 20 for the whole month. 
I don't want to purchase it, so I've cancelled it. Now, I'll tell you how do you actually navigate inside Paris. For this, I would recommend that you download the mobile application, which is RATP. It's opening. Voila, there are two options, departure and arrival. In departure, I put Porte de Choisy because I'm there at Porte de Choisy. Then in arrival, I put the exact address where I want to go. Voila, then search. Then it will show you various options along with the indicated time of your travel. I have chosen trams and buses because I have to travel only in tram and buses. My same ticket will work in both of them. which means you are here. Now I have to go to Port de Orléans so I will take the tram in this direction. So Pont du Garigliano I'll have to take this direction and get down at Port de Orléans. Now you can see these white dots these white dots are actually reflecting the interconnecting metros and interconnecting buses. So if you can see over here I get down at Port de Orléans and I'll have to take I I have to take bus number three double eight. So I'll get down at Port de. I have validated on 6th of February at 10.53 a.m. Now this is valid for 90 minutes in all the buses and trams. Even if you change any bus or any tram, you have to validate it again. But you can validate the same ticket. Prochain arrêt, Cité Universitaire, which means next stop, Cité Universitaire. Every tram line will indicate the next stop. has two directions. In this case, we have Gar, Moparnas and Belize. I'll tell you why is it important to look at the direction. It's written Vuzetisi. Vuzetisi, that means I am here. You are here. So, Port de Orléans. I am there at this bus stop. I have to go to Châtillon, Montrouge. So, the bus is going in this direction over here. So, I'll have to take the bus which goes in the direction Belize. If I take the opposite one, that is Gar Moparnas, which will take me to this direction. But I have to go over here. For regular French lessons, follow me on our Instagram page and our Facebook page, Learn French by Suchita. Au revoir! A bientôt and see you next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à Learn French by Sujita. I know you have been waiting what will be my next vlog about. So here I go. It's about comment voyager dans les métros à Paris. That means how do we travel in Paris in the metro? If you have a Paris metro map and you will take a look, You'll feel, oh mon dieu, c'est quoi? It has such a vast network. Mais ne vous inquiétez pas, on va apprendre ensemble comment on voyage dans les trains. Don't worry, we'll learn together how do we travel inside trains, 
how do we purchase the tickets how do we validate the tickets how do we change the metro line let's get into the video but before watching this video if you want to know how do we purchase a metro ticket how much does it cost i would recommend that you watch my previous video first and then come back here link has been provided in the card above as well as in the description box below here we'll start directly with the validation of the ticket so here we go metro station which is fourth to the shivaji and here i'll take you to the closer look of the direction map come m which is indicating metro this is metro line number 7 every metro line will have two directions this direction is la courneuve i am there at fourth to the shivaji and this line will go till la courneuve these voilà. dots if you are seeing they are telling me the stops which will come in between If you take a closer look, there are white dots also, which are indicating the interconnecting lines. Now here, T indicates tram, M indicates metro, and RR they are the regional trains of Paris. Every metro line, if you see, this is pink, this is orange, this is, this is green. Every metro line will have a specific color, which you can follow on the map as well. This is again metro line number seven, but the direction is opposite. The direction is Mary Dupré. Now, I am there at Port de Chouzy. If I want to go to Mary Dibri or interconnecting stations, then I can take this line. On every platform, you will see such kind of board which indicates the M7, that means the metro line number. Then we have La Courneuve, that means the direction in which this line is going. Then Courneuve, Black Menu, which means the next train is coming in five minutes. Then it's Quinze Onze. That means the time right now. On the opposite side, you will see the same kind of board with metro line number seven, but it is going in the opposite direction. That is Ivo. Every platform has such detailed maps. I'll take you to the closer look of this. I am there at Port de Chouzy, and I have to get down at Chatley. Voila. So I have to follow this pink line in the direction of La Courneuve M7 Courneuve Number eleven. So I have to take this way. Let's go. Again, line number eleven. This way. We are at the metro station, which is Chatley, and I have to get down at Arc et Métier. So I'll take metro line number eleven, which is going in the direction Mary de Lila. This way. I can take the exit. If I go like this, I can take the exit. 
Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à Learn French by Sajita. Je m'appelle Sajita, votre enseignante de la langue française. Et dans cette vidéo, on va apprendre les noms des fruits et quelques légumes. My name is Sajita, your French language instructor. And in this video, we are going to learn certain fruits and certain vegetables. And how do we purchase them? Ravi de vous appeler, which means happy to welcome you. So let's go. So let's get into the video. Et on va commencer par des légumes. Des légumes, which means the vegetables. Une carotte. Une carotte, which means a carrot. Now the carrot is of two types. Carotte de sable, which means the sand carrot. And carotte vrac, which is the normal carrot. The word vrac, which means bulk. Now if you can see the arrow on the left hand side, which is prix. Prix means the price. Now, bell pepper. Un poivron. Un poivron. They exist in three colors. Poivron jaune, which is yellow bell pepper. Poivron vert, which is green. And poivron rouge, which is red. Now, le radis. Le radis, which means the radish. It is of three types. Radis noir, which is black radish. Radis blanc, white radish. And radis rose, which is pink radish. Now, un chou. Un chou, which means a cabbage. It is of three types. Chou vert, which is green cabbage, chou blanc, which is white cabbage, and chou rouge, which is red cabbage. Now, un chou fleur, un chou fleur, chou fleur, which means a cauliflower. Next, une pomme de terre, une pomme de terre, which means a potato. Next, un poireau which means a leek. Now, if you just want to take the white portion of the leek, then it would be known as blanc de poireau. Blanc de poireau. Next, un navet. Un navet, which means a turnip. It is of two types. A navet, which is the normal turnip, and navet jaune, which is the yellow turnip. On continue avec une Aubergine, une aubergine, which means an eggplant. Next, un gingembre, un gingembre, gingembre, which means a ginger. Next, un citron, citron means a lemon. Now, citron vert, which means green lemon, and un filet. Filet means a net. Next, un chou broccoli. Un chou broccoli, which means a broccoli cabbage. Next, des oignons rouges. Oignons rouges, which means red onions. Next, des oignons jaunes. Des oignons jaunes, which means yellow onions. Continue avec des fruits. Des fruits, which means the fruits. The first one is une banane. Une banane, which means a banana. Next, une mangue. Une mangue, which means a mango. Next, une tomate. Une tomate, which means a tomato. Remember, Tomato is a fruit and not a vegetable. Next, un anana. Un anana, which means a pineapple. Next, une pomme. 
une pomme. Pomme, which means an apple. Next, une poire. Une poire. Poire, which means a pear. Next, une clémentine. Une clémentine. Clémentine, it is a clementine. It looks like an orange, but it is not exactly an orange. Next, une fraise. Une fraise, which means a strawberry. I am actually weighing my vegetables which I have already bought. It's written Bienvenue au crayon fruits et légumes, which means welcome to the section of fruits and vegetables. Posez votre article sur la balance, which means I have to pose my article over here. For example, here we have carrots. So here it shows the weight, kg. Now fruits, légumes, fruits exotiques, il oignon. Voilà, ça c'est une légume. Et les carottes. Voilà. C'est une étiquette que je vais coller ici. And here there is a barcode which they will read. C'est fait. Have, uh, the grapes. Grapes. So. Fruits. Now banane, citron, clémentine, non. Ce sont des raisins. Voilà. Here we have this. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. For complete course content, visit our website learnfrenchbysuchita.com and for regular French lessons, follow us on our Facebook and Instagram page Learn French by Suchita. and I'll see you on Friday at 9 p.m. Au revoir, à bientôt et à vendredi